Into the basement we go. There we go, down, down. So we have about 40 minutes before Caroline gets home, which is not much. And here's all the crap I have to photograph. Yay. What I wanted to show you was this. I have one hell of a sweater backlog. It's about two years worth of sweaters, but I think and I've devised a, um, a pretty quick way of dealing with it. And I'll actually show you there's a lot more on the other Home Depot has, has these wooden hangers and um, they're five for four dollars. They're, they're cheaper than you can even find them on, on Amazon. So what I've been doing is um, we found these, where are they? They're like live auction cards that you can get them on Amazon and they got, you know, the numbers on them and the both sides. So instead of doing the mannequin, which I have two beautiful mannequins that I spent a lot of money on, which honestly, I still, it's just, it takes too long and I have too much to get through. So what I've been doing is I have all my inventory hung and I'll show you over here. All this is listed but all that is not listed. And there's a few people, pieces here. All that's not listed. Ooh, I got massive death piles. So basically what I've been doing is coming over here, swapping out these crappy hangers, putting on the pretty, pretty wooden hangers that I picked up at Home Depot and sticking a number on them. And then I have a notebook and I'm just doing bust size and length. We're not doing sleeves, you know, we're not doing the, the ends. Um, these have been washed um, and they're, I, I put them on the hanger, I put the card on there, they're all sequins, and then I just take from the hanger and put it on my hook over there and photograph it. And then what happens is once it gets done photographed and it goes on these racks so I've done these these still have to get done and then I go and I make drafts in Etsy with the numbers that are on each hanger and then I leave the hanger I leave the number on there and then on the notebook, it has the number correlates with the measurements. So I just have, you know, I plop that in and it's great. I don't have to sit here and, and take things off of mannequins, take hangers off 1200 times. It is kind of expensive because now these will stay on here, but I figure the man hours for me to swap out hangers um, <clears throat> is probably uh, it's the savings so and it looks nice and organized and so you can see you know one two and they're all in nice sequential order and then when something sells I'll pull the tag off the little number put it in the bowl and then reuse it um, when I got a next batch up so I just wanted to show you how I'm getting through my death pile of sweaters these are this is this pile is two years in the making so I don't want you to think it's like oh my god she did that in a month no it, this is this has been ongoing because well what's to be fair all I had to do with Caroline is is shop so look at my mess of hangers don't judge me don't judge me um <laughs> but at least it's getting done um I'm getting pretty good at um being pickier in the store. I'm not a clothes seller. I'm so it's a learning process for me. I kind of did things half backwards. I mean, I just kind of, I started selling home decor before clothing and most people sell clothing before home decor. Um, so I'm trying to learn the fastest way to do things. I do really love these um, double hung 
racks. They're about a hundred bucks on, on Amazon and they got wheels on them and they're real professional and, um, sturdy. Um, <clears throat> we had them in the bins, but, um, I just found sweaters took up way too much room in the bins and you can get a lot more, um, a lot more on the racks that you couldn't, then you couldn't get in the totes. So, um, we did this and I did the double so that I can go up. This is about as high as I'm going to be able to go. This is, these are not high ceilings, but, um, so after we get done with this and the pile that's on the table, uh, we will start moving on to coats. So, which I have so many of, oh my God. I really have to go through this because I have to be honest, some of these things, once I pull them out to photograph them, I'm like, why did I buy that? Why, why did I buy that? So, um, I have a huge pile in my dining room of stuff that I've been like Marie Kondoing my freaking inventory like there's nobody's business. Um, like I said, you know, you just get things under lights, you see holes, you see stains that you just don't. And I'm, I'm like I said, I'm not a, a clothes seller, so this, this is a new adventure for me. But, um, I just wanted to give you a quick show and, and show you what I've been doing. Um, because it's getting better. I only have like one rack to do. So, um, hard goods. For whatever reason, hard goods I can move pretty quickly. I don't seem to have death piles of hard goods. Clothes, crazy amounts of death piles of clothes. I, I don't know what why, I think because it's just the volume is so much bigger with clothes. Um, but there is some really cool stuff here. I really love mohair. <laughs> um, anyway, it's a quick video. Thanks for watching. I have some more um, ideas about tackling my ongoing death pile. Um, I know it's not thrifting videos, which is fun and exciting, but sometimes you just have to tackle the pile. So with that, have a good night. Bye.